hello guys welcome once again in the last video I have shown you how to delete your data from the database in this video I will show you something new this time I will show you how to generate a globally unique identifier with the help of your Visual C++ and Windows form application so first question comes into mind is what is a globally unique identifier or GUID so we will see we will go to the Wikipedia search and we can see that globally unique identifier is a unique reference number used as an identifier in computer science so GUID is a unique number or unique hexadecimal uh, string or uh, hexadecimal digits which is unique so nobody has the same copy of GUID as you have so that's why it's globally unique sometimes it's required in the program to generate a GUID for example in the database you want to give a employee a unique ID which is only belongs to the particular employee so you can see in the table and you can provide one unique ID to your employee also so that's one of its uses you can think of your own use so now I will show you how to generate that unique ID so sub first take a button here and I will name it as in the property text I will change the name and name it as GUID or globally unique identifier and change the name also GUID button okay so this button text has, has changed now double click this button in order to go to its function of button click event and in here we will write our code so write system then this double colon string then this cap sign and now write new GUID so we named our uh, string variable as new GUID which is globally unique identifier is equal to system double quotes GUID double quotes new GUID dot to string and bracket and bracket close so what it will do is every time you press the button it will generate a new GUID and place it into this string variable now how to see that so for example we want to see our GUID in a message box so write message box double colon show close and just copy this string variable and place it here 
so it will show in the message box your new GUID so these are the two lines which is a very short code but very useful code so let's try and run if it really generates a new GUID or not so it has some error let's see what's the error so here is the error I forgot to write this bracket so write this system double quote string cap new GUID is equal to system double quote GUID double quote new GUID this bracket and then to string and now let's try and run the program once again yes and now it runs so username password it's correct and when I press this button a uh, globally unique identifier is, will be generated which is this and this is unique for you so nobody can copy nobody has the same copy of this these digits that's why it's special but you can see sometimes you don't want these dashes in between the GUID you want the GUID as a whole and because this is a hexadecimal number so you want these letter to be capital letter F B C because generally the hexadecimal number are represented in capital so now what we do is we will replace this minus sign or dash symbol in between this hexadecimal code uh, and we will make our letter in uppercase so let's see how can we do that so go to your code once again and here what you need to write is so write after your string to string write this arrow and write replace bracket and in the bracket write double quote comma double quote and in the first double quote you have to write the symbol which you want to replace so we want to replace this dash sign and in the second double quote you will write the symbol you want to replace with this so I don't want to replace I don't want to place any new character in place of this dash so I write nothing I leave it like double quote with no space and now I want to make my string in uppercase so write arrow pointer and then write to upper and it will change my string into uppercase this will this will replace my dash symbol with nothing and this will make my string into uppercase so let's try and run our code once again username password and okay and now when I click this let's see what happens you see all the letters or all the bits or bytes of this word is capital hexadecimal word is capital and the dash or minus symbol in between is gone so this is your final result which you can use in the database or wherever you want 
So I hope you have learned something new this time. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.